Well, good evening, good evening, good evening. It is Tuesday and it's the 28th of May. It was payday today. Yay! Plenty of tokens to buy shiny things and beery things and barbecuey things for next weekend um, should the weather hold out and we get more rain because I just love barbecuing in the rain, don't you? Yes. Anyway, we have lots coming up today. Uh, we're going to be looking a little bit later at this, which is the uh, iTaste SVD. Mmm. That'll be coming up, ooh, very shortly. But first, I guess we better do this. It's the titles. Vapor Scene is proudly sponsored by Health e Vape, UK purveyor of e cigarettes and e liquid. It's Vapor Scene with me, Mark Green, on Vapor Trails TV. Yes, indeed. And did you tune in last night to the Bank Holiday multi-presenter special that we did? Uh, <laughs> it was extremely good fun. Uh, and I, I don't envy poor DD um, with the amount of uh, electronic equipment he's got in that room, um, Skyping us all in. <laughs> it's enough to send a man mad. Um, but he does a marvellous job and we had a great time on uh, last night's show. So if you haven't seen it, get on to vPlayer later, later and have a look because it was good fun. Um, so what we've got upcoming this week? Well, let's have a look first of all at uh, the final total uh, on the Kickstarter campaign. And there you go. When it ended uh, during Dave Kitson's show on Sunday, it was at £19,547, which, as you know, is uh, £9,547 more than the original amount was going to be. So well done. Uh, we've got so much there and Andy has got so much work to do now. <laughs> he's literally working five days a week and then he's out at the weekends filming for the SWAF campaign and doing a sterling job. So uh, until all that is finished and in the can and all done, um, won't be around on Saturdays for the uh, SOS show, but He's got lots of stuff coming out and he's working like a trooper. So uh, well done to Andy and the team uh, and keep an eye out for the uh, the swath stuff that's coming out because uh, there's a lot of filming going on and a lot of editing. And hopefully we'll get these, almost use a swear word then, I can't use a swear word, get these people uh, to understand what the heck we are talking about. Uh, and do you remember this from last week? This uh, story that was in the Telegraph uh, about the the ban from the 1st of January uh, on reusable olive oil and things like that. Uh, well, it's been overturned <laughs> after a wave of ridicule and quite rightly so. Uh, they've changed their minds. So if they can change their minds about that, they can change their minds about e-cigs, but maybe not before France because this is breaking today uh, and uh, the French are looking at banning e-cigs in the same places as cigarettes are banned, um, which is just absolute craziness. Uh, and Dave will be talking more about that, I believe, tomorrow in VT Talk, as well as other stuff. Um, so watch VT Talk and uh, find out. But uh, it's, it's crazy, isn't it? It's absolutely crazy. But let's keep a level head. Let's keep the campaign going. And hopefully these people will understand what we're talking about. Uh, anyway, this arrived at, at my house last week. Uh, it's the iTaste SVD, uh, which was very kindly sent by Callum, who's my show sponsor. Uh, and I've been playing around with it and I did a little bit of VT. So let's have a look at it. And here it is. This is the box the iTaste SVD comes in. 
uh, and it is of course by Inikin. It's variable wattage and variable voltage. So let's crack it open and have a look. And this is what you get in your box. You get your iTest SVD with one of the tubes already installed. You get a separate stainless steel tube which is for the longer batteries because you can use 18350s, 18500s or 18650s in this little unit uh, as well as stacked 18350s should you wish. Um, you also get an iTaste iClear 30 in the top section and we take this top section out and lay it here and you get an instruction book, a little quick start guide, you get a second iClear 30 and then you get a little box and the little box contains, if I can get it out of the packet, there we go, the little box contains three new wicks. So that's one, two and three. So you get three spares for your two iClear 30s. Uh, the iClear 30s we'll look into a little bit more details shortly um, but they have got these nice little spinny round stainless steel tips which is quite good. So we'll uh, put that back and we'll have a look in detail at this. So here we have the component parts of the Inokin iTaste SVD. I've taken it all apart so you can see each little item and we'll start um, here. And here is a lovely little collar which fits on the very top uh, and hides away the ego threading. Uh, and they're very kindly, if I just get that into shot for you, they've included two air holes, one that side and one that side, which they've hidden in these little decorative dimples. Um, so that will help you with airflow. And you can see if I kind of tilt it on the side, you can see there's one here and then the other one there. Um, and that will obviously help and you won't get a tight draw because you've got going to have plenty of airflow going through there. Um, we've then got a vented end cap, plenty vented in case of any battery issues. There's a small battery tube and then the large battery tube and of course the unit itself. Uh, and you'll see on the unit we've got a fire button, we've got a plus button, a minus button and then the display. So we're going to put a battery in uh, and I'll use an 18650. Uh, you can use an 18650. You can use well, if we get it into shot, there we go, uh, 18350. You can use an 18500 and you can also stack to 18350s should you wish. I'm not a big fan of stacking, um, but uh, each to their own and you can, if you wish, stack the two 18350s. I've got another one somewhere. <laughs> I just don't know where it is right now. Um, so I'm going to be using the 18650 for this. So we'll get rid of that tube, that battery, and we'll put it in. Uh, and it goes positive side to the top and then your battery tube it says on it I taste SVD and the I taste bit fits to the top so there's a thread at the bottom I've started to thread there look and I'll just put in the battery bottom section make sure I don't cross thread it because that would be a disaster disaster darling right there we go so now I'm just going to continue to twist and you can see we've already got some power going to that so I'm just going to twist it until it doesn't twist anymore there we go but not any further than that the indicator came on there very very shortly uh, very quickly and then went off again um, it's actually in off mode so I'm just going to put the uh, top section on and there we have the fully assembled SVD. Let me just zoom out very slightly. There we go. And that's the assembled SVD. Now, to turn it on, it's simply three clicks on your fire button. And we have 
that turned on. So currently we're in variable voltage mode. You can see that because we can go from three volts up to six volts and six volts down to three. Uh, and that's because VM voltage mode has been indicated. If we press the fire button and the PM button for more than three seconds, thus, that then changes to P0 and puts it into variable wattage mode. And we can see there that it's going up in 0.5 increments and it will go up to 15 watts. There we go, it'll go up to 15 watts and then cycle back to three. So in wattage mode, you can take it from three watts to 15 watts. And in voltage mode, you can take it from three volts to six volts. To change it back to voltage mode, you need to press the VM button and the back button again for more than three seconds. And there we go. We're now in, it looks like a U, but it's a V. Uh, and now we're in voltage mode. If you hold both buttons in at the same time for three seconds, it will tell you what the atomizer resistance is, but we've got nothing on the end. So let's put an atomizer on and we can uh, have a look at that. Okay, so I've put an MT3 on. Um, it's got a little bit of juice in, so it's still vapable. Uh, and if we press both of the plus and minus buttons together, there we go. And it's telling us that it's 2.5A. Uh, and I'm assuming the A is atomizer. There we go, 2.5. So that's telling us the resistance is 2.5. If we press and hold both buttons in together for more than five seconds, we get LOC, and that means that that is now locked. You can't do anything, unless you then depress both buttons at the same time for five seconds again. And there we are. We can now adjust to our hut's content. So currently we are in um, voltage mode. So we're going to press the back button and the plus or PM button. And now we're in power mode. And then we can change instantly to a different wattage. There we go, nine watts. Plume of smoke, or vapor. So let's look at the back button. As you can see, it does glow green. It also glows different colors. So when you've got a single battery, as I have here, this light will glow green when the voltage is between 3.8 and 4.6 volts left in the battery. It will go yellow when that drops from 3.6 to 3.8. It will then go red if the battery voltage drops below 3.6 volts. The red light or well, red LED will keep blinking for eight seconds when battery capacity is lower than 3.3 volts. Uh, and the display on the front um, will show LOV and cut out, and basically it won't work after 3.3 volts. The LED light will stay on for five seconds when it detects a short circuit, uh, and it won't give you any vapor, and it will display ERR -E -R -R, in the display. When you've got two batteries in, so if you've got um, stacked 18 350s, uh, the red light will be on if the voltage is lower than 7.2 volts. The yellow light will come on if it's 7.2 to 7.6 volts. 
and the green light will come on if the voltage is above 7.6 volts and again the red light will blink for eight seconds when the battery capacity is between 4.6 and 6.5 volts uh, and you will get LOV in the display so it tells you all this in the little manual um, which is there uh, and uh, it's in lots of different languages which is very good always handy um, so all the information you need is indeed in this little manual so that's the front and the back or the back and the front it depends which way you want to use it really <laughs> what you will notice is that when you depress your button on your vaping nothing comes on the screen at all it only appears on the screen if you decide to change something so unlike other devices which will show you the voltage that you're vaping or maybe count the seconds that you're vaping for uh, this does nothing unless you uh, press one of the plus or minus buttons um, or both together to get the atomizer resistance so there you go that's the uh, SVD in the 18650 configuration hmm that threw me <laughs> I'm not using the uh, the latest version of Wirecast so I don't get the countdown um, I was just watching away with the sound on um, but yes here it is and I've been um, I've been using it since I had it um, and uh, filled up the iClear 30 which we'll look at in part two um, but uh, it's rather nice I have to say yes and what I'll do during the break which is coming up very shortly is I'll change this from the 18650 mode into the 18350 mode so you can see the different size um, however the battery my 18350 uh, that I could find uh, is not charged <laughs> so I can't show you it working um, but you can see the size Anyway, we'll look at that in part two, uh, and that is coming up after this break. Vapacine is proudly sponsored by Health Eva, UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquid. Now it's back to Vaporscene on Vaportrails TV. Vaporscene is proudly sponsored by Health e -Vape, UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquid.
and we're back for part two hello so i said before the break i would show you what it looked like in 18350 configuration uh the svd and uh here it is um i should have done a before and after shouldn't i really but there you go so uh, that is what it looks like in uh close up and i'll just grab that and there we go um it's a really nice size i have to say and i've uh, i've been playing around quite happily um, and I have to say, even with the, um, let's take that off, with the Arga T on it, it looks fairly nice, I have to say. There we go, let me just put that in uh, closey uppy. There we go. That's what it looks like with the Arga T. It'll leak everywhere if I leave it like that, of course, but uh, yeah. And with the two air holes, um, and I say that word, very carefully. <laughs> um, the draw is, is uh, pretty good. I noticed that uh, Phil Basado did a review on this a while ago and it was the pre-production model and it only had one air hole in the top so they, uh, they've put two. So it works really well. So while you're watching the next section which is going to be talking about the iClear 30, um, I'll put the other battery back in um, so we can uh, have a little vape on it. So I'm just looking for my video now. There it is. Uh, I'll see you in three minutes. As I mentioned at the beginning, the SVD does in fact come with two of these iClear 30s. Uh, and we'll just take this apart so you can see its component parts. We'll unscrew the top. That's that section. That's the tube, and then finally, the bit that makes the difference. So, there are the component parts, and so let me zoom in for you. Let's we'll go from bottom to top. We've got our 510 threaded connector, followed by our multi-cord wick, and there are four strands on each so there's actually 16 wicks on that uh, which is quite a lot and there is our coil so we'll put this silicon cap back on there we go so this very simply screws into the bottom section so it's a doddle to, to uh, change them over when they do go and I would just say just finger tight would be enough we can then poke the wicks down inside and put our tube. And the tube is graduated from one mil up to three mils. So we'll just screw that back on. It is a plastic tube, so I would stay away from the juices that are known to crack plastic and polycarbonate. Otherwise, it's just going to uh, melt it, basically. So I'd stay away from those juices. Uh, and then the top cap. So you'll notice in there there is a uh, little black o-ring which should solve any leaks uh, and you'll also notice that this is a multi-positional stainless steel drip tip uh, which is rather nice. So we'll just put that back on keep in the little plastic section there, little silicon section in the centre And there we have the iClear 30. And what we'll do is I'll grab some juice and we'll fill it up, let it soak in, uh, and then we'll look at both of these items together. I've come back with some juice uh, and what I'm going to use is this very nice caramel and vanilla macchiato, uh, which also came from Healthy Vape. Uh, seeing as Callum very kindly sent me the SVD, um, I thought I'd use some of his juice as well. Uh, and it's actually a really nice juice. And if you've seen my show, you will, uh, you'll know that I've used this on a few occasions. And it's very, very tasty. So, it's very simple, as you can imagine, to fill. Just uh, squeeze in the side. And I would stop somewhere between... Uh, two and a half and three mils really I wouldn't go to the very top 
because we don't want any issues. So you can see there, if I just tilt it, I filled it just below the maximum. And then we're going to put the top back on. And I'm going to leave that to soak in. And then we'll put it on the SVD and uh, we'll see what it vapes like. See you in two. Hello. Now then, something has gone strangely wrong, so I'm not sure if I'm echoing. Yes, I am. There you go. Uh, my screen's decided to freeze, so uh, some things I'm not sure if I've clicked on or not. But there you go. Um, yes, I have to say these iClear 30s um, are exceptionally good for using lots of juice because <laughs> I've filled this three times um, and I've just been vaping away now. It's exceptionally nice. Mm. And I've been using this at around uh, about 10 watts, um, which has been quite a good little spot to have it on. Um, so yeah, rather impressed with the SVD. Thank you very much, Callum, for sending me in the post last week. Um, and um, yes, that's going to be one of my one of my nice mods, I think. So uh, yes, now I've shown you uh, mine. I think it's about time that you <laughs> showed us yours. And now it's time for Show Us Yours. Sponsored by Flavor Art UK. Show us yours. Sponsored by Flavor Art UK. So that was um, Show as Yours. Uh, and this week's winner is Malcolm Straker, who sent me three photos. And they actually came in yesterday. Um, and I thought they were very nice. It was a nice beach scene. Uh, and uh, this one as well. And I notice in the distance there, it looks like 
um, it's a, uh, a kite surfer on the sea there. Um, but I was taken with those photos. So you are this week's winner, Malcolm, and I will be emailing you after the show uh, and telling you how you get your juice. Hmm. So there you go. If you would like to go into the draw uh, for next week, you know what to do. Send me an email, vaporscene at vaportrails.tv. Get it to me by Tuesday noon, uh, and you'll be in that week's uh, gallery, and you may well get pulled out, just as Malcolm did this week, to win a 30ml bottle of juice, courtesy of our friends over at Flavor Art UK. Now, I'm running out of time. However, I would like to show you the little knees meet video, which I uh, if I can find it, there we go, um, because there's a knees meet on the 29th of June, and it is a great little trailer. So, have a little look. I just love that bit at the end. <laughs> you can just imagine Jim Carrey with a, you know, the green mask on, uh, making an appearance. Uh, and I'm hoping I'm going to get up there. Uh, I believe uh, Dave Kitson is going to try and get up to the knees meet as well. So hopefully I shall be there again, as I was the last time, and um, I can get some decent tips off Cat on how to get this Arga T working properly. However, if you tune in on Thursday, Vaping Daz is going to be doing it live. So uh, I should be watching that and seeing if I can glean any tips because I just, it infuriates me. <laughs> but there you go. But that's Thursday. Tomorrow it's VT Talk and Dave will be touching on the French um, ban that uh, was mentioned earlier on. Uh, amongst other things, because it's the Envy meetings going on tomorrow and Thursday. So he will be no doubt touching on those. And of course, those amendments, yes those amendments that are uh, causing us some grief. Um, and then, of course, there's no show on Saturday, but Sunday, Dave Kitson with Dave's Tackle Box. The boys are back, I believe, on Monday with Tenure Tip. And I will be here, dear friends, next Tuesday, looking for my credits <laughs> with Vapor Scene. Until then, have a good week. See you soon. Vape hard and vape long. See you later. is proudly sponsored by Health Evade, UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquid.